Welcome to Web Logic Administration. Hearing from Pawan Devarkonda, MCA M Tech. I am more into the technical blogging, and the best known for the shell scripting and Python scripting. In this lesson, we are going to learn about the installation, which includes JDK and Web Logic. The Web Logic installation process curve looks like this installation procedure what are the present prerequisites for 12c installations what are the hardware requirements what are the installation modes for web logic and generic jar installation how it goes for 12c silent mode installation process which is more commonly used in latest virtualization and cloud environments environment home definitions how we can define them different homes these environment variables can be set into the login profile that can be reusable let's begin installation procedure you might have a windows machine or a linux virtual box on that you must install first a java development kit this java development kit should be 1.8 the subversion any after 48 uh, subversion this linux based installation when you are going to use there are again multiple options linux tar.zz zz file executing the rpm uh, for rhel family linux platform for windows you need to download the dot exe file the latest JDK you can download and you can web logic installations we have two options for development environments you can use quick installer which will be smaller in size that is around 200 MB generic installer it will be go around 800 MB the process begins like you might have a virtual box the virtual box can be created with the Oracle virtual box and you can have a Linux platform Ubuntu Linux platform on top of it you are going to install JDK will help to run weblogic installer then you can have the weblogic installed on your virtual machine to install your prerequisite software that is Java JDK installation process you can have RPM for the RTL in that case you are going to use R pm hyphen i v h and for tar dot x z v f options will extract your tar dot z z file direct uh, extract the tar file then it is going to set the libraries inside that requirement is a basic requirement for web logic installation there could be multiple java vendors and according to the platform you need to select the sun jdk oracle jdk now only one we have ibm jvm ibm platforms aix if you are going to use as a platform then you have to use ibm jvm web logic will be having two options you can have one that is uh, developer another one is generic uh, test and production environments where you can use that generic will work uh, on any platform it will be work on windows it will be work on linux the hardware requirements quickly let's see the hard disk at least we need uh, 60 gb and then cpu 300 mega just minimum requirement but uh, almost all every intel processors after i3 are running with the 300 mega hedges go ahead with the uh, one one gb or one gigahertz or above that would be fine and um, memory that internal ram uh, is basically required 500 mb is a minimum virtual box if you are going to spin up or a vagrant box if you are going to use then you have to create a box with the best possible size uh, 6 gb is required for cluster based lab setup all right installation modes there are two flavors of uh, installers in web logic oracle universal installer we are going to have uh, that we can run that uh, using the gui mode if you are having x11 forwarding in linux then you can use that 
if you don't have that you are connecting with the putty terminal then silent mode installation you can have so the silent mode installation how we can use simple java command java must be installed then you can use this command web logic a jar file path you have to provide and give the option silent response file and then you have to mention the inventory path there are multiple ways virtualization is more in uh, industry or in it now and everyone looking for the virtualization vagrant and uh, docker containers configurations which are more into the current devops uh, scenarios you can also look for the configuration management tools like puppet chef and ansible which also provides the easy way of uh, configuration of your web logic uh, boxes web logic installation so in that case you are going to use the silent mode installation inside the configuration management scripts maven goal is also going to use the silent mode installation so the difference of the file looks like this uh, the file name will be first part second part looks same but the last word will be wls for the generic installation and quick for uh, quick installers generic jar installation uh, you are going to have the dot jar file that can be used in windows that can be used in your uh, linux platform if you are having gui or you are going to have the vnc viewer connected then you can run the command like this all right then how the silent mode is going to work i hope you are going to install jdk very simple uh, easiest way so first we'll try to install the jdk all the software is present in software directory where i can see jdk directory the jdk is going to have uh, multiple uh, extensions so i prefer to use the tar .zz file and uh, the latest file you want to use jdk 1.8 okay so to install this jdk you need to go to the location where you want to install i am going to install in a home directory that is you own one app oracle directory in this path i want to install so to install you have to give tar hyphen x z v f and then give the path absolute path u o1 app softways jdk and jdk file installer file so this will take a uh, couple of seconds to install the jdk on your machine and there will be one directory created with the jdk 1.8 so it is created in the home directory and you can see relations all right jdk installation done now we'll go back uh, web logic where we are going to have the web logic installer you can download from the internet uh, where oracle technical network otn and oracle e delivery get the web logic latest versions the quick installer and generic installer both are on the same page you can see the sizes and you can accept the license agreement and then select the installer to download the software okay click the quick installer and it will be downloading very fast here it takes 2 minutes all right yes now it is downloaded it take this download file and place it in the f colon softwares directory so that i can use in share folder share folder this one software fmw wls all right um, i've just installed download it and copy it to the location where we want to now let's go back to our software location okay and in the software fusion middleware wls directory and uh, today's uh, file quick zip file 
unzip it this will take another two minutes okay and if you are having already a readme then uh, you can ignore the readme file cool see now uh, we got this uh, quick installer jar file all right so this one you want to install how do we you have to create a directory called uh, silent and prepare with the two files the two files are or inst that will be telling the oracle installer and uh, we are going to use the uh, which kind of group members you, you can install that you can mention there and uh, the next thing is about the response file weblogic installation response file you can give any version and you can have the path where you want to install oracle home is the path where you want to install the weblogic and other rest of the things we are going to ignore the updates from the oracle support to mention that we are going to have the other values blank you can ignore them so let's install the software first it will verify the prerequisites then jdk installation is correct or not then it is going for the installation platform verification once it is done then it is going for the extracting the actual quick installer this will take a couple of minutes to that's completed successfully weblogic installation you can see the installation in wls directory where you can find the wls server wl server directory which is going to have the installations complete common server etc tables which are java home and then this java home should be added to the uh, path variable then you can add class path this class path should include middleware home directory middleware home will be used in weblogic home the class path which will be appended to the weblogic uh, jar file weblogic uh, dot jar file and uh, <coughs> this can be added into your batch profile so these environment variables can be added either in the dot bash underscore profile dot bash rc file or dot profile file these are the different shells we are going to have in your unix linux platforms when you are using bash then you can use either first to second or if you are going for ksh or sh then you can use the dot which will be present in the home directory how we can add it to your profile so just see cd enter you are going to home directory home directory can have the hidden files so the bash rc is already ex so let's have the files and then the java home will be defined in that and the path variable will be added that one to this and middleware home where the middleware is added and uh, middleware what we have just now we have installed weblogic uh, 12.1.2 this is the directory it is creating so let's update this percentages fmw and then the all right tell uh, set then the last line is going to indicate that you can test the installation is correct successful or not 
save the file and execute this bash profile that bash r rc and now test um, is is wlst is working or not yes it is working that indicates uh, our web logic installation is successful of the basic information on the operating system kernel uh, the process will be takes care like this operating system kernel will interact with the etc initialization getty will be calling the login login will be executing your uh, bash profile or sh profile or ksh profile these files will be automatically executed whenever you logged in you don't need to every time execute so just now i have uh, created that's why i have executed from the command prompt dot space and the profile script you can learn more about this in watch in uh, weblogic admin tricks and tips uh, no more on that please follow us you can connect on whatsapp you can like us and share on facebook you can tweet you can subscribe to vibhava technologies please visit us vibhavatechnologies.com thank you very much you have any questions please write us drop us in the comment box